Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 5 of Darwell20's Ocean Block series. I'm getting ready, I want to explore this ocean, man. But before we do that, I really want to make sure my, my main base and my infrastructure and all my stuff's ready. Um, so without further ado, my plan for today is to jump right into Mechanism! Uh, so there's old Mechanism quest line, which is no surprise, probably. Uh, there's several quest lines, obviously, for lots of different things. Uh, but Mechanism being uh, the, the what I've chosen for this series to be the main... Um, the main tech mod of choice, if you will, right? So typically each series, I kind of pick which tech mod I'm going to go through and do things with. Uh, mechanism, it's this time around uh, how I'm going to do it. So what I'm going to do here basically is just start by setting up a few, um, a few pipes so we can get some machinery going, right? So metallurgic infuser is kind of our first deal. We want some osmium and iron ingots. We're probably going to need a healthy amount of both. So what I'm going to do is pop down here where I've been uh, processing a bunch of gravel. I've just been crafting wands, so stone wands, and making stone hammers. And that's over and over. And one of these days in one of these packs, I will go ahead and be like, yeah, I'll make an iron wand. But like, I always feel like at this stage, I'm like wasting iron to do that. So I'm always like, just use cobble. And if I have to make two wands, then so be it. Uh, so as you can see, we have a healthy amount of of iron going on here. We have a healthy amount of a lot of things going on here. Uh, some osmium, yes please. I'm probably also gonna need, well, I don't know about silver. We'll see about silver. Um, but I will probably also maybe need copper, I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna move all this night ore, by the way. Night her, night ore, I'm not quite sure. But inventory problems abound as usual. Um, gonna deal with them, you know, a bit. But first things first, get the gravel going. Second things, to get, get, to get the stuff cooking. And then finally, what we want to do... Ba -ba -doop, ba -ba -doop. Uh, what I'd love to do is automate this. So I don't have to do this no more. Uh, so, like, my goal, metallurgic infuser, uh, and then immediately get to a crusher so we can do ore doubling. Because I'm almost certain that there's a crushing mechanic from here. Yeah, the crusher should be able to do it, right? Uh, that's 4x... Uh, one of these guys. Enrichment Chamber will make it 2x. Um, purification Smeltery, if we wanted to get oxygen going, we could 3x it pretty easily, right? But Enrichment Chamber into doubling, uh, and then you can be uh, smelted in the Energized Smelter. So, like, those are the two... You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna to-do list that. I'm going to to-do list both of those. Uh, so, Enrichment Chamber. Right? And then Energized Smelter. These are the two things we're going to want to kind of get in that order. So let me come back in a moment, uh, now that I've set the stage for what the episode's going to be, uh, once I get a few resources melted and smelted and ready to make these machines. Cool? Uh, hopefully I've got everything else I need, but we'll find out if I'm missing something. So here's the thing. Osmium clusters cannot be put into this machine, I believe, if I'm watching this correctly. It can go into these guys, but it can't go into the quartz grindstone. So no osmium cl crushing for you. So that means we're gonna need to do it this way, and we will not or double the osmium just yet. Um, so not the end of the world, obviously. Just noting that. All right, energized uh, metallurgic infuser time. So we want two of you, and then we're gonna want you. I might not make this not a crap because I'm very used to being able to close the UI of the thing and then have it, uh, and then have it. Hmm, random reward. I got gold clusters. Wow, a lot of them. Holy, that's a lot of gold clusters, isn't it? I feel like it's a lot. I feel like it's a lot of gold. Not that I'm complaining. I might just hang on to them, because that inventory down there is really full. Inventory issues abound, as usual. I'm going to put you in that chest, I guess. But anyway, we've got our metallurgic infuser, which is cool. So we can lickety-split get that going. Now, if I remember correctly, we're probably going to want two of those ish so what i'm gonna want is one two of these are you like how did you do that oh i think i know how you did that it's silly but i think i get it um so i'm gonna probably want two of these to start right one for coal and one for redstone infusing uh i think would be the way Right? And then our next main deal would be the enrichment chamber, right? So for that, we're going to need basic circuits, which is going to be osmium infused with redstone. Uh, however, uh, how do we get this? We need the enrichment chamber to make these guys. So let's do it the, uh, the slow way first, right? So we're going to want 
Uh, we're gonna make you the redstone dude. And that should be cool. Pretty sure it's enough. Nope, needs two per. Good to know. And then power-wise, we should be fine, right? Um, so you're drawing 20 RF a tick at the moment, and we're producing 70 right here. So should be good for a little while in the old RF per tick range of things. Uh, and then also a steel casing, which is going to need steel ingots and structural glass for mechanism. Rehehele. That needs cast iron ingots. Okay, not the end of the world. By any, by any stretch, not the end of the world. I think we can handle that. And steel, I assume, is processed in the standard ma manner, right? Um, maybe steel grit, metallurgic infuser, enriched iron, carbon, yes. That process looks no doubt the same. So I believe what I want is about eight of these dudes. And if this was gonna be redstone, this one can be coal. And then what we would want is four iron. That'll turn into uh, four of the first generation, right? And then we do it again. This enriched iron goes back in to turn into steel. And then we smelt that. So I'll be back when that's done. And while I'm smelting up the steel over here, I'm going to do the exact same thing again because I know we're going to want an energized smelter. And that's also going to need some of that. So then we just need any kind of glass with cast iron. Uh, so let's get some. Do we have glass hanging out or did we use it all? I think we used it all. So let me get eight pieces of glass smelting here. And that should be good times. You're almost done. Hey, the upgrade. Sweet. Great at stealing it. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I have glass in my inventory. All right. Well, we need more anyway. We would need more anyway. Don't sweat it. Dire. So A to you will lead to one steel casing for the enrichment chamber. Huzzah! Quest complete enrichment chamber. And then enriched iron goes in again to become carbon. You can then make the far more efficient stuff. Uh, now what about cast iron? Is there a cool way to make cast iron with mechanism? Because I haven't actually looked into that at all. Uh, energized smelter. You can smelt the enriched iron into cast iron. That's cool. That's cool. So if we just take that first tier of enriched iron, so rather than putting it back in to make steel grit, we can turn this stuff directly into cast iron, which is sweet. I like that. Cool. All right, so then enrichment chamber should be good to go. So now what I can do, for example, is get myself some more iron and enrichment chamber that up directly into uh, the dusts, right? Nice. And you're using also 20 RF a tick, so not a big deal. So now I want to smelt this stuff up so that we can get um, another steel casing so we can make the energized smelter. All right, easy peasy. You, you, we will make another one of these, and then we can make the energized smelter, which needs a smidge of redstone and a little bit more basic control circuits. Um, so that won't be a big deal. Uh, we just have to hope that we've gotten more redstone chunks. Have we not? Have I not been looking at making more redstone? I guess I haven't been. I would love to have more. Uh, but we're going to have to sift more dust. A healthy bit of more dust. Because uh, I've been mostly focusing on the gravel lately. I was kind of working towards more diamonds for the diamond mesh thing. Do I not have any more redstone-y stuff in here? I may not. I may not yet have redstone. Uh, how do I do on diamonds? 15? You, you're, you're kidding me. Oh, good. We have more gravel. I just need more water. Because we literally need one more diamond chunk, and we'll have enough for a diamond mesh. And then I'll be able to get redstone that much better. So let's do that. Let's um, make sure we get the the diamond, the diamond mesh bit, and then we'll be cool. Right? So all I need to wait is for one more diamond, dude. Cool. I'll be back in a minute if my RNG luck holds up. Like, I'm going to 30 of these. I should hopefully get one diamond, right? Maybe? Possibly? I did not have any RNG luck, so more gravel is being made. <laughs> yeah. Come on. One diamond chunk. That's all I need. Oh, I got another obsidian boat, by the way, for my quest reward. That's cool. Do I need more than one obsidian boat? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. 
diamond? Still not yet. All right, I think enough time has passed. Yay, diamond chunks. Hooray. Uh, now talk to me about how I can... Can I enrichment chamber these guys? I can. So as a matter of fact, I didn't need to wait, but that's okay. I'm the one who waited, not you. See how that works out? Everybody wins. A bit. A bit everybody wins. Because uh, now I can double these, right? I don't think we could double them before. Maybe we could have. I forget. Yeah, so the grinder thing didn't work. So we had to get the enrichment chamber. But that'll be good because we'll get, you know, enough. So let's get our diamond mesh going on. And then I'm going to AFK again for a little bit. I'm going to process a ton of dust and hopefully have a ton of diamonds. Or redstone or well, all kinds of stuff that you can get with things like this stuff. Mostly redstone, though, is what I'm interested in. So yay, dust. Be right back. All right, a little bit of dust sifting later. And it looks to me like we've got a pretty healthy amount of redstone chunks, which is awesome. Uh, because these guys, I think you get 12 of them in the enrichment chamber, 12 redstone per chunk. Uh, you might also notice that I upgraded my sluice to a diamond sluice. Remember I had four extra diamonds? I was like, hey, wait a minute, aren't diamonds three diamonds to make a sluice? I can do that, so I did. So I've got one extra diamond laying around now, uh, but that's okay. I think, yes, 12 redstone, that's awesome. Look at that go. Uh, and also that's a pretty nice reward that I get from this. I got an elite jetpack? Well, that's a cool reward. Hello, sir. That almost feels broken that I would get that. That feels, that feels OP. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, it's gonna require probably a healthy amount of power, uh, but that's kind of cool. So that is the elite tier from Mechanism. So that's tier three, right? And I assume that you can upgrade to tier four ultimate jetpack. And then from there, you only get armored. So like that's one step away from top tier jetpack time. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. So what I'm going to do is convert this redstone clusters into redstone dust. Then, uh, and also we've got a bunch of gravel and sand, which is awesome. Uh, boy, do I need more inventory space. Boy, do I need more inventory space. That's right. Again, used to, <laughs> but no such luck. Uh, I'm gonna just toss you guys in here, I guess, for now. Right now, I have literally no inventory management as well. I went from I have some semblance of organization to now it's just literally just, you know, one, two, three, four different chests of miscellaneous junk, okay? So literally nothing. Um, but I'm gonna make the resources for the smelter, and then I'm also gonna cook up uh, some stuff to make a crusher, and we'll be right back. All right, so uh, lots and lots of resources getting cooked up here. Uh, the grit. Uh, I'm going to hold off on smelting the grit because I think the first thing I want to do is get that energized smelter. So that would be you, right? Yes, beautiful. Energized smelter, quest complete. I don't think I need the quartz grindstone anymore, is correct? I believe that is a we can get rid of that thing now and get it out of our way. And then the last thing I wanted to get was the crusher. So let's take our uh, steel that we're cooking, throw it into our energized smelter. And if you guys have been yelling at me, you know what I'm going to do immediately? The first thing I'm going to do, okay. I do like some of the mechanism sounds. That one, for whatever reason, is just like nails on a chalkboard for Dyer. I don't know why. I don't know, I'm not saying anything. I am not a skilled artist when it comes to music. So don't, you know, don't think that I'm sitting here saying like, oh, I didn't do better than that. No, I couldn't. I could not do better personally, but it still hurts my ears <laughs> to hear that. It legit does. Um, so like these machines, not bad. That thing is just like, oh, my ears. So just saying, just saying, I'm just saying. So Crusher. You just need more of this structural glass stuff, which is why I'm making this specifically, because this enriched iron can be directly smelted uh, into cast iron ingots, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta get some speed upgrades in here, gotta get some upgrade upgrades in here so we can do like the three at a time thing. That shouldn't be too bad, because I'm pretty sure mechanisms basic tier install it is just basic control circuits so that is not terrible so if i were to get a couple more of these which in the metallurgic infuser is just osmium and redstone that shouldn't be too bad i 
Not bad at all. And then we can start tier upgrading them, at least to the first tier, because that basically triples uh, the speed of the machines, right? Now, in fairness, it's going to triple the cost of the machines in RF, but... And I still need oop, one more Osmium, sorry. Didn't want to... Didn't, didn't want to forget that I need one more of those dudes. Cool. And then I need two buckets of iron, which I'm pretty sure, or of lava. And that should not be a problem, considering we've got 27 buckets chilling over there. So that is not bad. That is not bad. And now my crusher's ready. Boom. And now this guy is good to go. And you're ready to start crushering things. Now, there was definitely a reason I made a crusher. I forget what it is, but there's a reason. Oh, right. This this should be a good way to make gravel, right? So let's get the tier upgrade. Because that should be really trivially easy. And then I'm going to turn on auto sort. And now you should very quickly turn gravel into cobble for me. Or cobble into gravel for me. Words. I'm good at them. I can words just fine. Who says I can't? Uh, this enriched iron I'm going to smelt up as well. Sweet. Okay. So uh, the basics of, 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 of mechanism come along just fine. What I would like to do is get more osmium and iron at this point. So I'm going to... And we'll probably automate this pretty effectively at some point. That's tin, not osmium. Is osmium like... Rarish? Am I missing out on osmium? There's some osmium chunks. All right, that's not too bad. It's not common, though. Like, what are my chances here? Uh, you get it from sand. You get it from sand. And gravel, you can get it with... Diamond mesh. Okay, cool. So sand and gravel is where you get it. Sand and gravel. Uh, and sand, by the way, with a diamond mesh is... Um, is 16% is chance. And gravel with a diamond mesh is 17% chance. So it doesn't matter. If you're after osmium, sieve whatever. Sieve whatever you want. Um, not a big deal. So you can then uh, enrichment chamber your way into some dusts. And we'll be right back. All right, so that's a tier upgrade for the enriching factory. Now, these guys are obviously going to start draining RF like nobody's business. And at this point, the buffer that we have from our magmator is going to rapidly, rapidly decrease. So we should probably look at making the cubes, I want to say. Let's see what kind of quest rewards we're getting. Uh, I'm assuming much of them will be random rewards. So I got an Eternium helmet. That was cool. I got a diamond jetpack. Okay, more jetpacks and a man of steel chest plate. Oh, oh, I mean, I'll take the armor. That's also a tier three jetpack. <laughs> that is also a tier three jetpack. Um, that is cool. So in this pack, you have access to the iron, gold, diamond, netherite tiers. And then you also have access to the, uh, let's see, this is the, um, uh, the uh, that upgrade. Okay, yeah. So that's uh, immersive engineering, I believe right yeah and then also you have access to the mechanism tech line okay that's not bad now should i side config you to auto eject to the right i feel like yes because then you'll start doing that right away yeah and then you give me some osmium so that i can make another basic control circuit and now, clearly, power is going to be our problem, right? So I have to decide what my plan for power is. Do we want to go down the route of just have it in a battery style? Or do we want to go down the route of, you know, because there's things, right, that we're going to have to deal with here. That's pretty awesome, by the way. I'm going to sieve this stuff up. Oh, by the way, water, uh, or diamond sluices automate water. Uh, so water automation, fluid automation is available now. So we should be able to automatically pipe water in rather than use the manual pump. Something I should consider or look at soonish. All right, let's see if we can automate this guy nice and simply. Uh, so you side config input from the top, eject to the right. Can I auto pull with this guy? I forget. I forget. Can I pull automatically with him or not? Speed, energy, it's been a while, muffling. I'm thinking not. 
Can I not auto pull with him? I might not be able to, which is fine. But you can auto eject at least. Right? So input, output, auto eject. Sweet. That'll do. I'll take that. So now I'm going to pop you guys in there. They should all process. And then once this guy's done, he'll smelt up all the gold for me. So yeah, you're going to be uh, a little bit of a power problem. So how do we want to handle the power solution, right? What we could do is we could take our basic magmator that we have, which generates 70 RF a tick, and upgrade it to the hardened here, which generates 180. It's going to need a hefty amount of energized steel, which is partially why I'm making gold at the moment. So that's option one that we could go with, right? Uh, I also want an energy cube, which shouldn't be too bad. Also needs a bit of gold. Uh, not even sure if I have, like, processed already gold in here. But I don't think so. I have a few nuggets I saw. Yes, I saw the nuggets. But, uh, you know, we'll see. So, yeah, that's option one. Uh, option two would just go power gen, right? How much does the solar generator produce? Yeah, I know it produces sun energy. I know, I know that. How much do you? How much hour of a tick do you produce solar power? I don't know. I remember the advanced solar gen being pretty good, though. Isn't this one pretty good? And if we stored it in a battery, it would hold us over the night. And also, we can sleep, right? Uh, so realistically, what we need is not that bad. We need a, a hefty amount of infused alloys, but that's just iron and redstone, right? Um, let's start infusing. I'm just going to throw 16 in there and see how far that gets me. I'm going to cut out you guys for a sec. I'm going to hold you out. Uh, what I will probably do is keep this chest up here. Even though it doesn't auto-pull, this will be my to-do chest, um, which should be fine, right? Now that you're no longer processing, you guys are going to start getting more power. But also, this guy's using power, so there's that. Though he's not using as much because he's not tripled yet. So, we'll get there. Solar might be a good way to go, right? I kind of like that plan. I think we'll. I think I'll do that, right? Four solar panels? Shouldn't be too bad. We're going to need a lot of these infused alloys, though, to make that work. A lot. So, uh, how about I come back when crafting is complete? All right, two solar panels down, which is cool. Uh, still waiting on a few more of these bad boys and a little bit more. Not too bad, though. Decided to make more of this. Okay. Perfect. Also, I've got a quest reward I'll deal with in a minute. Uh, let me get... So we're going to want... Six more of these dudes. So almost there. Solar panels use a lot of osmium, by the by. All right, more cooking, cooking, cooking. But we've got... Four solar generators, which should, in theory, I just need to turn one more of these dudes. It's iron that I make these with, right? I always mix up whether it's uh, what's iron and what's osmium. Boy, have I just been waiting for more osmium. That's literally all I've been doing is sitting here waiting for more osmium. 100% that's been my thing. But we've now got this guy, which is a big old dude. Um, now let me just refresh my memory on how much you generate. Uh, how much do you make? 120 RF a tick? Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, 100% not bad at all. Now, what do the solars from Power do? Refresh my memory on those. Those are around 50 to... I mean, 150 RF a tick from these guys. That's not too bad. You need three solar panel starters. So there's a lot that you need to do to get them to a higher tier. 300, 700, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000... Does, that's extract speed. Hang on. 5, 12, 40. Yeah, that's not... That's max extract. Remember, we're looking at generates. I was looking at the wrong metric. Um, yeah, no, they're expensive. For, for what they generate, they're expensive. This thing was pretty worth it, I would say. Uh, all we really need to do then is get uh, a power cube. And then we should be cool. So let's get... Six of these dudes? And you know what I should do real quick? So I should get another tier installer for you. To kind of make this go faster. And splitter you. Um, because do, 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 we need two of these. And then we need a steel casing for it too. Let's not forget that I need a steel casing. I think steel casing means that I need another osmium. How's my 
How's my osmium coming along down here? I have exactly four. Exactly four osmiums. Beautiful. Do I have four diamonds yet? I do. That's good news. I'll tell you why that's good news in a minute. I'll tell you why that's good news in a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't smelting factory. You and you. In theory, diamonds shouldn't move into here, right? In theory, diamonds should not move into there. Guess we'll see what happens. Good. Perfect. And then I need a smidge of lapis, which I assume at some point I've managed to get. Sweet. Extra sweet. And that means you guys are cool. Twelve lapis. It's time in a bottle time. Booyah! That's what's up. You knew, you knew Dyer had to, like, as soon as possible. I should have done this a little bit earlier when we had the other diamonds, but that's all right. I was waiting just because. Uh, also, I had an advanced compressing factory. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I feel like I should just plop it down somewhere. Uh, before I forget that it exists and I make a compressing factory, all right? Like, I feel like that's 100% the kind of thing Dyer would do. So, you know. Anyway, let's make the cube that I want now. One needs more redstone. Do I have more redstone? I feel like I had a lot of redstone, and now I feel like I don't have a lot of redstone. I guess dust sifting is in my future. Have I burned through all my redstone? I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if I burned through all my redstone already. I guess I did. So what I want to do is get some of that compressed. Can I hammer directly the 2x compressed? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. I think I have a hammer in here. Shovel level obsidian. That's cutting board hammering. So you can do, it says you can do 2x compressed of things. 2x compressed gravel turns into dirt. 3x compressed sand turns into a bunch of dust with hammering. And it says in, in JEI, it tells me I can use the stone version of the because I looked up what the stone can be used for. So I guess we're going to see. Hopefully I'm not wasting a whole bunch of sand here, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, we wasted a whole bunch of sand. Now, why is that the case? You literally showed me that you could do that. It says it right here. Do I need a better hammer? Do I need a better hammer? I mean, it does say level obsidian. I feel like I'm. I feel like I have a problem now. This is a manual and pick. It should work. Now I feel like I have a problem. What would a uh, what would a diamond hammer cost me? Two diamonds. Uh... I don't think we have a better diamond option. It legit says I can just hammer the 2x compressed stuff. And up to 3x compressed, for the record. Hmm. I think what I should do is let's get this guy. Can I, com can I hammer you? So your level is diamond, if it's a shovel. It says shovel level diamond. Right? He definitely hits faster. But I assume I need a diamond hammer to do this, and I need an iron hammer to do the 1x. Could I do the iron hammer? I could probably, I could, I could manage an iron hammer at this point, right? We're learning, folks. It's an expensive lesson that we're learning, but we're learning. Yeah, that works. It's better than uh, going uh, hog wild. 
with individual pieces of sand and the dust. Now, I assume you're not going to work, right? No, I need a diamond hammer to break you. That's a little bit of a bummer. A little bit of a bummer. Let's see. I, don't, I assume you're not going to work, right? What's your mining level? Iron. What's your mining level? Netherite. This should work. Even though it wants a shovel, right? It's the wrong tool, but it's the right mining level. It's just that I don't want to spend diamonds. Especially because I don't have diamonds. Meh. Oh well, life goes on. So what I'm going to do then is take my 2x compressed, turn them into 1x compressed, right? And then I'm going to get my wand, and you can actually go away. And it's dust for days. Booyah. Look at that. That is cool. And that will be a ton of dust for me to, uh, to enjoy. Right? Because sand sifting isn't that great. I mean, it's not bad. There's a few things you can get out of sand. But, frankly, gravel and dust is where it's at. Which is pretty standard for, like, the sifting stuff. Right? Um, so that looks cool. And with that, I'm going to call it yield wrapping up point. Uh, so I've got more redstone chunks here, right? I should have enough to, uh, real quick, maybe, I'll just do this. See, I already got a fourth one. Boom. And uh, we can enrichment chamber this dude into redstone. And then we can make our basic energy cube, and then we can wrap up the episode. Does that, does that sound like a plan? Uh, do we have the stuff to make you? I need more of this. I can now make this. You guys have a bunch of redstone for me, which is nice. I can therefore make this. Once I make another one of these. Boom and boom. So then you guys can feed energy. So your side config will be input on the back, input on the right, output on the left. So he'll start filling up with energy from both you That's the back. Yes, stored is going down now, perfect. Uh, not top. Okay, and then when I sleep through the night, you will be able to generate energy again. All right, for now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, really actually good progress today uh, between the amount of power we're generating uh, and the energy storage that we're gonna have. Just a little bit of, uh, you know, 1.6 million RF in a buffer. That'll be nice. And you're, you know, really cruising. You're really cruising. Everything's good. Like, I'm very pleased with where we're at. Um, for, for episode five, it's pretty, we're pretty teched up, right? All right, we'll wrap up here. We'll come back next time. Um, clearly, a lot of stuff is uh, remaining to be done. I'd like to do a little bit more mechanism automation and then start maybe exploring this world a little bit because I suspect there's a lot of cool stuff to find. Right? And I'll snag some of these random rewards and see what kind of lucky stuff I get. Oh, so the major, major important thing I need to do is going to be storage. Ooh, a Sojourner's Sash. I do love those. They require mana, though, don't they? I've made the achievement Inner Arts. Don't you go in the belt slot? Yeah, and the Scion Laser Lens. Cool, but also meh. And I'm pretty sure I need the... Yeah, I need mana in order for that Sojourner's Sash to do anything. So... Probably not going to do much yet. All right, wrap it up point. Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.